Hi, I'm Bhagishree and welcome back. I haven't made a video like this in such a long time, so thank you for being here. I wanted to make this video because 2020 honestly needs a little bit more kindness and we need to be unreasonably kind to each and everyone around us. So these are some things that I do that help me improve my relationships with other people and improve my relationship with myself. So I've divided this uh, video in four categories which is like how to be kind to your partners, how to be kind to strangers on the internet, how to be kind to your family, how to be kind to yourself. Count to yourself? How to be kind to your partners? In relationships, people expect a lot of things from you because obviously you share this intimate bond with a person and you know all about them and they know all about you. Apart from everyone else, they expect a certain level of kindness from you which is more than what they receive from other people. Since we're in lockdown, uh, people who are living with their partners might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Sometimes there's like too much communication which leads into a fight or sometimes there's just this huge communication gap between you guys that you don't know what to do. I saw a video where this uh, woman was talking about how we generally dismiss being kind to our partners and how sometimes when our partners express emotions to us, we respond with logic. So she gave an example where she said that when your partner tells you that I feel like you don't spend much time with me. So here we are talking about an emotion. Your partner is feeling something and they're conveying that to you. But you take it, if you give a logical response to your partner saying that I spend 15 hours of the day with you. That doesn't help your relationship, that will increase the communication gap in your relationship because you are not acknowledging the feeling that your partner is conveying to you. You're just counter-arguing by giving her logic or him logic. That's not what they need at that moment. So you have to be mindful of how you respond to your partner in these situations. You have to reply to emotion with emotion and not with logic or else it might make your partner feel like they are not being heard and not being understood. So if you say something like, oh, I love spending time with you, which is why I'm here all day, or I love your company, I love being around you, you are expressing an emotion in response to their emotion, so they will feel more reciprocated, like the communication gap will reduce. So that's one where you can be more kind to your partner's emotions. You can be more understanding and you can develop your listening skills and your communication skills and that is the ultimate level of kindness that you can show to your partner. So how to be kind to your family? This is an important one because I feel like when all of us look at our family members, we look at them with this tunnel vision of the role they perform for us. So if I'm looking at my mom, I'm looking at her like, my mother, what she has done for me as my mother. We fail to acknowledge that they are an entire individual in themselves and they have an entire life that we only know fragments of that they've told us, you know. So you have to be more considerate of um, your family members' feelings because at some point in their life, they were as young as us. They've had the similar kind of experiences that we are having right now. Someone might have hurt them in the past or made them feel like they're not good enough. They might have issues of their own and we fail to acknowledge that because we see them as this we expect them to be this perfect individual who knows how to go through life and who knows how to raise a child and who knows how to deal with everything in life. But trust me, they're just as confused as everybody else because nobody gets a handbook to life. So you have to be more considerate of how you are responding to someone or how you're talking to your family members and see them as an individual person. See them despite their role, see them as a whole individual who has a life of their own, be considerate of their feelings, be considerate of their past, respond to them in such a way your relationships will automatically improve and you have to understand that nobody knows how to get through life. We are all just figuring it out. No matter how old you are, you are always figuring it out. I don't think we all say this enough and sometimes I think we go through life without saying this at all but I think we should say this more to our parents, grandparents and everybody who's in our family, your brother, sister, uncle, aunties and siblings, whoever. You should start saying them that you're proud of them and if you're watching this, my mom, dad, everybody in my family, I am proud of you and you are enough. People don't say this to each other and we all go through life just feeling like we're not good enough and just acknowledging this fact that 
you are good enough as a parent you are good enough as an individual you are an honest person you are a kind person you are a generous person you give this compliments to your family members and they will definitely feel so much better i am sure that it will be very emotional to do that because it's a very intimate kind of thing that you are sharing you are making them feel like they are enough and that's all we all want to feel everything we do we do for love and why are we holding back then so go ahead go and tell your parents that you're proud of them that you're proud of how they raised you yeah you just generally proud that they have done a good job <laughs> that will mean a lot to your parents because nobody ever says that nobody nobody claps for them you know like wow what a great job you did so i think maybe we should start doing that next is my favorite one how to be kind to strangers on the internet this is the simplest one but somehow so many people get this wrong i don't know why there is so much hate on the internet and since we've been in uh, lockdown all of this hate has just amplified because everybody is constantly on the internet consuming some kind of content there's just this increasing amount of hatred across platforms across uh, all artists and creators i just feel sad because why would you want to do that to someone so my one rule to follow for this is if you don't have anything nice to say don't say anything at all that is that is the bottom line this you should write this on a wall and look at it every day if you are a person who goes on and criticizes other people for no reason see constructive criticism is good but most people just leave their opinions as if they have an expertise on something and they just like yeah you shouldn't do this and i hate what you do and I hate what you look like and that's just i don't know why people do it but what i think it makes them feel good about themselves because they are insecure so they do it but it's just it's just a waste of time all of this is happening to creators and artists across all platforms which is very sad and i always say that everything someone creates is personal to them and when you hate on the art the artist hates himself so be mindful of how you criticize an artist or what you say about them because you might be a random person to them but that comment will stick with them for the rest of their life they will remember that this guy you know said this about me so be mindful of how you treat people on the internet why would you want to be the reason someone you know doubts themselves and stops doing what they love that is a terrible thing to do you can't put that on your cv like hey i made such an horrible comment that this person stopped uploading videos that is such a horrible thing to do it's easier for you to connect with strangers when you are more supportive of them you are going to get nothing out of hate and if you are instead supportive you're going to get so many friends i have made so many friends on the internet just by being supportive just by believing in them and in their dreams and i have made so many friends across so many platforms and it has been a beautiful journey and who all of all of those who are here watching this i know you all personally and i am so proud of that because i know each and every one of you who comments likes and shares and i am so happy that i know all of you guys and i can see what you aspire to do in life and i can be supportive of that as well and if you don't like someone's content just don't consume it but don't bash the artist or the creator for it because you're not going to get anything out of it i had one hater on my youtube who was commenting hate about one of my videos so i just told him that if you don't like it don't watch the content it's okay it's like a free country go do whatever you want but that person kept on uh, responding with hate and i took it lightly at some point but then he started commenting on other videos i'm like if you don't like it why are you watching my other videos you're just contributing to my watch time that was okay like to that level i understood like okay you do better no problem we can deal with it but then he escalated and moved it on to instagram and started commenting on my pictures like oh you have ugly hair and i messaged him because at this point i was like done okay please i can i can take things lightly only up to a certain point I was um, I told him that okay listen buddy look what you're doing is called harassment and cyberbullying and I can get you arrested for it he immediately was like taken aback and he was like oh I apologize I also like the videos that I you know were good but I was just giving my opinion so you have to be mindful of 
giving your opinion and being an asshole on the internet okay there is a difference there is a huge difference and i know that you know the difference don't try to act like you don't know what the difference is and go be an asshole to everybody else because that's not that's just not how it works and these days we we are not here to listen to that shit okay be mindful of how you are interacting with strangers on the internet because your sentences your words might mean nothing to you but it might mean everything to them it might ruin their belief system in themselves it might degrade their self confidence and self esteem why why would you want to be the reason for someone to you know start self doubting and go into depression or you know you talk about mental health so much and you just can't be kind to random people on the internet mm. take a look at yourself Make sure that you put a smile on their face every time you message them or every time you interact with their content. It will make you feel so much better about yourself. Plus, why would you want to surround yourself with like negative, hateful comments and thoughts when you can be surrounded by love and support and people who share some same beliefs and interests as you who are all supportive of your content and you are supportive of their content. It's such a beautiful environment. It's so wholesome. Why are you missing out on that by being hateful and bitter? Lastly, how to be kind to yourself. I know this is very important because we dismiss ourselves like we are nothing. We are so self-critical. I am so self-critical of myself. Um that's because we observe ourselves so much. You know, we are constantly with ourselves and we observe these little things we do, what we like, what we dislike and we are very mindful of those things. Other people don't observe us so much and we just assume that they do and we hold ourselves back from doing things just because we think that they will judge us for something so to be kind to yourself you have to catch yourself you have to be aware of your thoughts and uh, whenever you find yourself having some kind of negative self talk stop yourself there ask yourself if you would be comfortable to say this to your best friend if you would tell your best friend hey you're ugly and you don't deserve love would you say that to your best friend i hope not cuz you shouldn't <laughs> but yeah If you could say that to your best friend how would you feel you'd feel terrible why are you saying that to yourself you should stop yourself right there and tr- start treating yourself like your own best friend say things that you say to your best friends how you encourage them in their life encourage yourself the same way and stop yourself from saying mean things to yourself this only happens when you are very aware of yourself so whenever i am in a bad mood i just ask myself hey why are you feeling like this what happened don't be afraid to communicate with yourself okay you're not a crazy person i do this all the time i ask myself and i respond to myself and i keep check of my emotions and that's how you communicate with yourself this that's how you get in touch with yourself if you just start to ignore your emotions you're not going to get anywhere with it and also give yourself space from your own expectations we have expectations from our society our family and our friends and everybody but the main kind of hurt that we feel is from the expectations that we do not meet that we set for ourselves like if i if i'm not making a video that i expect myself to make i would be thinking i am mm, i'm i'm a terrible person i should be making this video but i'm not i'm not helping people i'm not helping myself so i'm a bad person You should stop yourself right there and give yourself some space and make yourself understand that it's okay to take time to do things. There's no deadline to life. You can do whatever you want whenever you want and there's no hurry. I have changed my mindset from not feeling bad about it to try and do something about it. Why am I not doing it? What is making me feel like that? I'm not asking you to give excuses for yourself and procrastinate because that happens sometimes. You can be more conscious of these things. You can listen to yourself, listen to the reasons why you're not doing something. Make a plan, make a strategy of how you can achieve something or how you can set a goal for yourself. Start forgiving yourself for your mistakes and encourage yourself to do better tomorrow. The hon- honestly the ultimate secret that I found to happiness is celebrating all of my little achievements. Celebrating everything I do. If one day it's difficult for you to get up and take a shower and the next day you do it, I think you should be proud of yourself. It's a small thing, but you have to start celebrating yourself for all the small things that you achieve. Big achievements are obviously more celebrated by everyone but these small battles that we fight every day are not seen not heard by anyone and we do not receive enough acknowledgement for getting up from our beds every day and just doing life so i think we need to be more proud of ourselves we need to cheer more for ourselves and 
be happy that we were able to do this so these were my tips i'd say on how to be kind to your partners your family members to strangers on the internet and to yourself i hope this helps uh, i hope this improves your relationship with people and i hope hope this makes you feel more connected to yourself makes you feel happier makes you more conscious more mindful of how you interact with others how your words can impact someone for the good or for the worse make sure that you always try to spread smiles and happiness be supportive of each other same will be reciprocated to you if you feel like the same is not reciprocated to you it's mostly because you are channeling some kind of negative energy which is coming back to you like that that's how we work we respond to compassion with compassion most people will respond to you in a very good way and you'll feel better they'll feel better everybody is happy okay so now my legs numb so <laughs> i'm going to go but i hope this was helpful if it was thank you for listening to this um share it with someone share it across your social media platforms and give this a thumbs up leave a nice comment i'll leave a nice comment back i'll compliment you because i love all of you also recently i've published my first hindi urdu poetry book called tabir and it's on amazon kindle i've put the link in the description if you are a poetry lover you can check it out and um tell me if you like my book and leave a review Okay thank you bye bye see you next time